21 for Chase Meyer, the 66 of Rush Moody. You have the eight of Kyle Como and the five X for Hunter Hardwick. Battle for the lead as they come off of turn number four. That is Brody 40 challenging Rush Moody for the top spot. Moody has it, 40 wants it. Como is third. He has been strong all summer long in that number eight cart. Third cart in line on your screen behind the race leaders that are side by side up the back straight away. Moody to the bottom will give up the race lead to 40. And well, the race leader nearly lost it in turn number two. Close moment there for Brody 40. And it may cost him the lead. Kyle Como kept his momentum up. And wow, that was quite the chop here on the front straightaway. Checkered flags are out. Cart number eight, Kyle Como will win the first Tiger Cub feature event of the evening. Cam McDermott gets thumbs up from all six competitors. There's the green flag. We are underway with feature number two for the Tiger Cubs. Axel Monaco trying to get away with the top spot, but here's the 81, Bradley Leary, top side. Take the race lead, and they are all sorts of out of shape further back. The 11 goes around for Jace Fargo. And around goes the race leader off the front bumper of a lap car in turn number one for Axel Monaco. And they're going to keep it green. Green flag stays out. Now the caution. So the yellow is out. But here comes Axel Monaco. Full of confidence and speed on the back straightaway and takes the lead back within a half a lap. Cart number 86, Axel Monaco wins feature number two here tonight for the Tiger Cubs. Here they come. Off of turn four, green is up. We are underway. Barrow and Varga in the number 11 make up the front row setters. Then it's Ernie Veter and Jacob Farrow. And now veter has got his hands full with the 11 for Jonathan Varga is still very much part of this lead battle. And here's Wiener, door is open this time. Farrow couldn't get it shut quick enough off of turn number four, having a tough, tar tough time keeping that car on the bottom. And Wiener gets to the inside and takes the race lead away. For the second week in a row, it's gonna be Ernie Wiener taking the win in the Pro 2 Modified feature event. Here they come off turn four. Green flag is up from the starter stands. We are underway in our Tiger C feature event. Brody Hardwick showing the way and already stepping out of line. Dalton Rivers for second. Caution flag comes out for a tangle over in turn four between Dylan Stady and Lauren Martello. Nicholas Fondacone goes way wide in the 16 cart. We'll give up a spot further back to Dylan Stady. Here comes the 17. Hunter Allen, a big winner a week ago here in the Tiger Sprint. Rivers goes around in turn two, a half spin, a nice save, but will lose six spots up the back stretch. Here comes Dylan Stady in that green number 10. The second green cart on the bottom and about to be the first as they move up the back straightaway with Hardwick in the middle, Buffington to the outside, three wide into the corner for the top spot. And it's Stady that comes out on top in cart number 10. Here they come off of turn number four, white flag, one lap to go here in the Tiger C feature. Here comes Hunter Allen peeking to the inside, steps out of line, Stady goes wide into turn number one. They nearly make contact off of the corner, but they're okay with Stady hanging on to the top spot. Allen will have one final shot. Don't think he's close enough off of turn four. Checkered flag is out, and Dylan Stady will win the Tiger C feature event here tonight. Single file off turn four. Here they come. Green flag is up. And we are underway with the Tiger B main event. Jacob Gray, Vincent Matei Hicks go one and two into the corner. Nobody challenging for position right now, except for the race lead. Vincent Matei Hicks steps out of line off of turn number four and will take the top spot away with ease in that blue number 54 card. Battle for the lead, here's Gray, looking to the inside of Vincent Matei Hicks. Matei Hicks to the outside in the 54, Gray to the grass, going into turn number one, left sides all the way through the grass, through the corner, 
And does he have the race lead? Maybe by the time they get to turn number three, it is tight at the front of the field. Here comes Aiden Royce in cart number 50 to make it a three-way race for the win. And the leaders tangle, Royce goes high and misses them and comes out as the race leader. Gray tangles with Vincent Matei Hicks. Aiden went way wide in turn number two, took the lead and then lost it off of turn number four. The cart got loose, he did a nice job saving it. That gives Gray back the lead for now. Corey Faircloth though. Up to second, Vincent Matei Hicks in third and is within striking distance of the race leader. Here he comes, hot to trot off turn four. White flag, one lap to go. Vincent Matei Hicks is gonna try it again in turn number one. This time he is successful. Gray is there, Faircloth is there, Reagan Avery not too far back in fourth. And in the turn three they go. Reagan Avery goes way out, as does Gray. Checkered flag is out. Vincent Matei Hicks picks up the win. Off turn number four, we are underway as the green silk hits the air and leading trouble right away. A couple of cars coming together and slamming the wall. Abby LeMay is on the grass. One is Keith Rocco Jr. pulling away, who bounced off the wall, was Warren Madison. And it looks like Midford, the point leader, is involved. We are underway. And Masurio will lead the field down into turn number one. As they rumble off the corner and down the back stretch. And here comes Midford. He's made his way all the way from the back of the pack and is dueling for fourth as they bombard their way three wide. And on the outside, Landon Cohen takes the lead. Midford trying to burrow his way down low, grabs the second spot, and following in his tire tracks is Masurio in the 12. They are nose to tail as they go down into turn number three, and the leader of the train is the nine of Cohen. Stepping out of line and taking a peek down low is Midford. So Midford has made his way back through the field in just three laps, and we have a yellow as we have two cars up against the wall off turn number four. And one looks to be the 15 of Warren Madison, who's having a tough feature event. Field comes off turn number four, single file. And we have a car around. That is the seven of Cohen. And immediately out comes the yellow flag. Two car length run as Cohen leads him down the back stretch. Now Midford gets another bunt, run down low, and dices his way into the lead. Drop kicks Cohen to second, and Cohen may have to worry about the 12 of Masurio closing in. Will he go high to try to get a run down the backstretch? Midford leads him down into turn number three for the final time. Cohen trying to close and get a shot. They come together. Our two leaders come together, checkered flag a wave, and your winner will be Nicholas Masurio. Jackson Hull with a second place run. The nine for Tegan Degata, then the 18 of Ciara Bernard. Green is up, we're underway. The first of twin feature action tonight for the Senior Outlaws. Off of turn two, they get really bottled up. Two and three wide from second on back as David Ouellette gets away at the front of the field. And David spins at the front, and I think almost everybody misses him. Matt Dupuis gets collected. Magliano will spin. Not sure what happened. It looked like David was going to be all by himself at the front as they battled for second on back. Green is up. We are back underway here in feature number one for the Senior Outlaws. Zachary John looking to take the top spot in the outside lane as they stack up again off turn two. Everybody's OK. A couple of close moments there. Damaro to the inside, looking for the race lead. Now he's out of shape. And Luke Jenjenbach goes to the inside. Three wide, threads the needle with Zachary John to his outside. And Jenjenbach will take the top spot. Morrison in second, Zachary John in third. Off of turn number four they come. Luke Jenjenbach will take the checkered flag and the win in the opening feature event of the night. Around the racetrack, we'll go green. Here they come, Junior Outlaws. In their main event, 
On this final Monday night program of the season, Allison McCusker leads the field to turn two, but will slide wide and open the door for Dylan Houghton on the bottom of the racetrack. Houghton will take the top spot by the time they get to the end of the back straightaway. Dylan Houghton, Colton Gambacorda. Gambacorda to the inside of Houghton for the top spot. And it's going to be Colton Gambacorda taking the race lead, but here comes Houghton back to the inside. Past halfway in this feature event for the Junior Outlaws, and what a race it is at the front of the field. Here's Houghton inside of Gambacorda. Gambacorda out wide, has no choice because Houghton's to his inside, but has the better run and momentum topside to maintain the race lead. Continue to intensify. Houghton to the bottom. One more time on Colton Gambacorda. Putting on a show here tonight. A little bit of contact among the race leaders. Gambacorda and Houghton. Houghton slid up wide. Here comes Gambacorda back to the bottom. Takes the race lead. Houghton crossover. Back to the inside for the top spot. One car upside down. Back straight away. And everybody's going to miss him. Rocco Miller spins, as do a few others. Caution is out. Red flag flies whenever a car gets upside down. I think that's golf. Final couple of laps of the Junior Outlaw feature. And here comes Colton Gambacorda looking to the inside. Dylan Houghton trying to block the move into turn number one. Gambacorda back to the front. Now Houghton cross over, and it's going to cost him the second spot. Three carts racing for the win here in the Junior Outlaw feature. Connor Christmas to the inside of Gambacorda for second. That might be exactly what Dylan Hogan needs as the race leader as he's able to break away by just a bit. One other car upside down, back straight away. Bit of a tumble there. They're going to throw the caution. Red and checker. Dylan Hogan flagged as the winner. So the night goes bad to worse for Ryan. Green is up, we're back underway. Senior Outlaw feature number two is under the green flag. And it is Jenjenbach to lead the field into the corner with Ben Morrison to his outside. In fact, it's gonna be Morrison getting the jump in the outside lane. Here comes Zachary John to the inside to take the second spot away in the single low. And now here comes Zachary John to the inside to take the race lead. Halfway home. Keith West pulls his cart to the infield. John took the lead. Morrison takes it back. By the time they get to the back straightaway, Luke Jenjenbach, far from out of this one. Now to the inside of Zachary John for second. Matt Corvo wants to make it a four cart race up front. And now Zachary John in the outside wall on the front straightaway. Contact was made on the entry into turn number one. Zach had crossed the line in the second spot. And again, tightly bunched at the front of the field. Luke Jenjenbach in second as they make their way up the back stretch. Corvo in third, challenge for the lead in turn three. Jenjenbach to the bottom, takes the race lead, but for how long? Here's Morrison back to the inside and back to the point. Morrison, Jenjenbach, Corvo, Jaden Lage, Sydney Cook, one through five. They're three wide further back here in the Beth Latwell Memorial. To the inside, Luke Jenjenbach to the race lead, but only for about 25 feet. As he slid up high, Ben Morrison went back to the bottom and another crossover. Another great race here tonight at the front of the field for the senior outlaws. Corvo in second, dives in deep into turn three. It's not enough. Checkered flag is up, and it's going to be Ben Morrison winning feature number two here tonight for the Senior Outlaws.